Having to take a caffeine break, so got a scoop of creatine, scoop of non-stim pre-workout. Got the raw, the raw pump, non-stim. Probably my favorite non-stim workout I've ever had, honestly. The pump is good, the flavor is good. I don't know, I just like it more than the other non-stim pre-workouts I've had. That raw, raw pump, that Seabone brand. Yeah, I get, I get good pumps off of it though. And I have to give up caffeine. I don't know what happened to my caffeine tolerance, but I went from having fairly high caffeine tolerance to all of a sudden, if I drink a whole energy drink or a whole scoop of pre-workout, I'm up until like 2 a.m., like 2, 3 in the morning, and I cannot sleep at all, even if I have it in the morning or like in the afternoon. If I had it at night, I probably wouldn't sleep at all, but if I have it in the morning or afternoon, I'm still up till like 2 or 3 a.m., so if I had like half a serving, I'd be okay. I might stay up a little later than normal, but a full serving, I cannot fall asleep at all. I think what I'm going to do going forward when I buy pre-workouts, so I'm going to buy the stim version and the non-stim version in the same flavor from the same brand and that way I can have like half and half because that way I can have like half a serving of that caffeine and that stim it won't affect me as bad but it'll give me some energy and that focus and all that that comes with the stim so I'll get a little of that but I'll also get the pump and it won't be like over over caffeinated over stimulated but I only have the non-stim i only have the pump version of the raw i think i have raw lemon raw lemonade but i do have like the trend twins one feral i do have that one in both stim and pump so i could go half and half on that one so that was smart that i have the same flavor in both on that one but i i cannot have full servings of caffeine anymore or stim pre-workout I'm just, uh, I don't know, my tolerance went from, I didn't take a caffeine break, but my tolerance still went from like way up here to way down here. So, I don't know, it's chest day though. I'm finally giving it up. I'm finally quitting. I quit bench press. Why am I quitting? I don't wanna quit. Now that I've said it, I don't wanna quit. I don't know, it's, I have to quit though. I think I have to quit. I don't have like shoulder pain. Or I don't think I'm like in danger of injuring my chest but it's this pain right along the collarbone. It's kind of like above it, not on the chest side, but on the trap side. I get this pain like right here. And the main culprit causing that pain has to be the barbell bench press. Of course, pressing movements could still affect it a little bit, but I haven't noticed it being as bad when I have it barbell benched in a while. And I notice it being more bad now that I've been barbell benching. So I might have to make the hard decision. It's a hard decision. I don't know if I can do it. I'm still, I'm telling myself not to, but in my head I'm still like, I'm gonna bench today. So I don't know, but I need to quit. I need to quit my hip. I've had right hip issues and pain for many years at this point. And the hip feels really good. It feels the best it's felt in years. I think I started getting hip pain when I started working out again in like 2020. So when I started working out again, I got serious, more serious into it. And that was when the hip pain came, whether that had to do with working out or not. I don't think it was a working out thing, but working out can affect it. I don't think it caused it, but it can affect it. I, you know, I've had the quad issue on the left quad. That was like when I started working out. I was more of like a beginner when I had that issue, with like the left knee, left quad issue. And then I have always had, you know, on and off left shoulder pain and it's always been solved when I don't bench for a prolonged period of time. So the left shoulder is fine and I haven't really had that issue in a while, but now it's like this little pain right here. For whatever reason, the barbell bench, I feel it, I feel it right there. I feel it more after the bench than, you know, right now. So if I go bench, I'll feel fine. But then after I'm done with my bench session, however long the benching takes, I'll start to feel it right here. So I'm, I probably have to quit. It's it's sad. 220, 275 was supposed to be the bench today. Then 315 next time. Then we'll try and get that redemption on 355 for two. I'm really trying to convince myself to give it up though. Because why, why would I injure something? You know, it's kind of a weird spot to have an injury. But I did see a video one time of a guy saying that 
due to heavy pressing, like bench presses and shoulder presses, his collarbone started going in. Like it started like sinking in. He had to have like surgery on it. They had to like saw part of it off or something. I'm not sure how that works, but it sounded horrible. And I don't really want to deal with that. That's why I always like feel this side and I kind of compare it. Like is it sticking out more? Is it starting to go in compared to this one? Cause this right side, no pain. On this side, it is slightly different, but of course, you know, you're not gonna be symmetrical. And I know I have a really deformed rib cage. So like my right side sticks out more and like my sternum, it should be in the middle, but it's actually off to the left. So I am deformed. So it's really hard to say. So I don't know, but quitting the bench press, something I've been debating for a while now, and I'm gonna have to decide, give it up, not give it up. I'm still debating in my head. Besides that though, uh, whether I bench or not, I'm gonna go with my two presses, two flies for chest. Flat machine press and incline smith are probably what's on the menu for today, and then two different angles on fly. I've been hitting side delts. I really liked the seated side lateral raises I did last time. So those will remain. This is gonna be a very similar workout to the last chest workout I did, except I'm gonna do flat machine or flat plate loaded instead of decline. I tried decline last time, did not like it. And what else did I do? I did dumbbell press last time. I did the 120s for like nine or 10, I don't remember. And I'm gonna substitute that out for incline Smith machine, make it more of a bodybuilding focused workout, I'll get a little more upper chest in there, choose my two flies. And then the shoulder exercise, I think I'm gonna go with the exact same ones, the seated dumbbell side raises, and then that set up the bench on an incline and kind of cross the cables like this across my body. So it's kind of like a different variation of cable side lateral raises, except you're doing it on a bench and it takes away any type of momentum, helping to isolate the delts. So that's what the workout's looking like. <sighs> the bench i'm still debating my head i'll probably i don't know well i'll finish off the pre-workout and keep debating in my head and once i finish the pre-workout i'll start the workout and you'll see if i convince myself to quit bench or not today
couldn't get myself to quit bench press today. Did 275. I just did like really slow controlled reps. Trying to take out that explosiveness and just like that. You know, when you go to the bottom and you explode up, puts a lot of tension through this area. So just kind of tried to avoid that. Probably will get myself to quit bench press sooner or later. I've been cleaning up my diet slowly. My stomach has been killing me. I've been kind of using up the bad foods, like the dirtier foods that I have left. So I, I was dirty bulking. I've been trying to transition to clean bulking. Really the only thing bad that I have left to eat is I have a bunch of cereal. I have a bunch of mini wheats and frosted flakes to eat. Got like, probably like in total, probably about box and a half at least. I think I have like half of Frosted Flakes and like a full box of mini wheats. So got a lot of cereal left. That'll probably end up being like my pre-workout snack. And then besides that, the diet will be, get cleaned up quite a bit. That way I can feel better. My stomach is starting to hurt. Even though I didn't have caffeine, I still had to take a pre-workout dump today too. And that, uh, that, that hurt too. So my stomach, the stomach pain, I'm trying to quit bench press. I'm definitely gonna drop a few pounds when I do get the diet 100% cleaned up, which will probably be in the next few days. Like I said, I'll just use the cereal as like my pre-workout snack. Besides that, it'll be clean. I don't know if I wanna go into a cut or not. I'm definitely gonna try and eat a lot of like rice and chicken and you know, all the good foods, oatmeal, eggs. Definitely gonna eat a lot of it at first and then I'll monitor the weight. I haven't been good at weighing in, but I'm guessing I'm still around 220. That's what I've been weighing in. I weighed myself three days in a row, which was great. And then I kind of got not so good about it. I just started doing cardio. Uh, I was good. I think I did cardio three days in a row up until yesterday. Yesterday I didn't do it after leg day because my legs were feeling really sore and tired and I just didn't feel it. But I'll do cardio again right now. I'll go do, you know, 30 to 45 minutes is what I'm up to. So I'll do that on the bike and then I'll be good. What else? Yeah, I don't know. I'm debating just going into, you know, a cut after I clean up the diet or not. We'll see. I think it is a good opportunity for me to go into a cut. I could probably take it the farthest I've ever taken it. The bulking period, I'm trying to remember when I started bulking. It was like late August, early September. So I've been bulking for like two, three months, I think. Probably like two and a half to three. I don't know. Somewhere in there. I'd have to look back at my weigh-ins and all that stuff and my videos and just kind of see where I'm at. But a cut, I'm definitely cleaning up the diet and possibly a cut in the next month or so. We shall see though. But I might do a full day of eating tomorrow too. Cause tomorrow's gonna be what, back in rear delts, back in rear delts. The diet should be pretty cleaned up besides the mini wheats, uh, frosted flakes. So it'll be a clean day of eating, plus like a little bit of that cereal pre-workout. So we'll see if I do that tomorrow.